so hello and welcome back and in this video we will be creating the um, the updating score section that means uh, the buttons that we click uh, and then the runs get increased so in this video we will be creating this uh, the section which will actually update our state and uh, we'll talk uh, we'll talk about state later on but for now we're just going to create these buttons which will help us i mean we're just gonna uh, create these clickable buttons okay nothing much with functions so in this video we are going to create the upper section okay so the one you see the dot and uh, the one two three four five six so only these but uh, only these buttons and so let's get started so we are done with the score component right uh, that shows the score right over here and we're done with it so let's just create a new component so i'm gonna create i'm gonna name it controls.js well you can name it anything you want uh, because it is controls i am naming it controls so first of all so now instead of writing the whole component we are just going to generate it so we uh the snippets that we installed beforehand um let me just see this is es7 react redux graphql react native snippets so this is what you can install and then you can just run r n f uh, and that's uh, actually r n f if we take a look at this so r n f e and that will generate me this boilerplate which looks cool and so uh, we're gonna have a view but we're not gonna have a text as of now so this controls component will contain three more components the upper one the dot wall okay that you see let me just show it so this one right over here this will be a separate component and this section will be another separate component and this section will also be a, a different component so what we are going to do is we are going to create a new folder called controls and inside of the controls folder we are going to create the dot button dot js so that uh, is actually the dot okay that means uh, an empty ball okay it's nothing but an empty ball so what do we do is we go back to our app and we create the same thing r n f e so here's our dot button and what we're gonna do is uh, simply in this one we are not going to use the inbuilt button component we are going to create a touchable opacity because uh, by default you do not have a round button like this in react native so it is custom made right so we're going to use a touchable opacity so we are also going to bring in style sheet so let's just bring in style sheet and we want the text as well and we also want the touchable opacity so let's just bring that in touchable opacity and we will not be needing the view because it's just a single component after bringing that from react native we can just import something from at expo vector icons and we're gonna bring in ion icons so we're gonna be using an icon from ion icon and so inside of uh, we're not, we won't have the view instead we'll have the touchable opacity touchable opacity and in this one we are going to have a text and in this one we're gonna have an ion icons so uh, this one will be having a name of ios dash tennis ball because that's what we use and then size will be equal to 40 and the color will be equal to black black like so and let's hope for the best here we go 40 hopefully that will be better oh that curly brace right there 
messed everything up okay so here we go uh we have this ion icon now we are not using it anywhere so let's just use it so in the controls i'm actually going to use it so i'm going to say dot button and like so so it's going to auto import it for us and we are not actually using controls anywhere so let's just go to app.js and let's come down and let's just use controls auto import it and you will see something hopefully or nothing maybe because we have nothing right uh, in the text we have just an icon and we have the touchable opacity but we don't have any styles so let's define some styles so first off let's just go down and let's create the const styles is equal to style sheet dot create um, create okay we got we got it we got it we got the button so we're gonna create a style sheet and we can even press it like so as you can see we can only press the icon so we need to add some styles so we're gonna add a button style uh, and this will be the round button so first of all we are gonna add a background color and this background color will be hash ef 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 and then we're gonna add a justify content to center then we'll add align content to center as well hit save and we are not applying this anywhere so we are going to apply this on the touchable opacity so let's just say style is equal to styles dot button and so it gives us some error so the error is can't find variable style sheet oh yeah i did a small typo so what do you have is style sheet or style sheet let me just take a look at that so it is actually called so we made a mistake importing it so that is the thing it is style sheet and not uh the uh, lowercase s so here we go now this button has a full length because uh, we added these two things now let's make it better by adding a border width of 2 and a border radius of 85 by 2 so now this is how our button looks like pretty ugly right and then we add a width and height to make it look like a circle so width and height will be 85 and 85 pixels and so our button is created and let's create a margin let's give it a margin of not margin top but margin of 8 overall margin okay so here's a button and in the text let's just give it a style is equal to styles dot number and let's create the number style so i'm going to say number for the icon actually so in this number style we are going to first of all have the font size to be 30 pixels and the second thing we're gonna have is text align which will be center and so our but uh, our icon looks better and we're gonna have a font family later on uh, but we don't need a font family here right so we are done with the dot button and so we're gonna create a similar um, what do we say that's the we're gonna call it add button dot js buttons right so we're gonna call them buttons and let's just copy everything from dot button let's just paste it um, let's change this and this to add button here you go and we should be exporting it as well now once that is done we have uh, kind of the same stylings so inside of the add buttons we are actually going to use view as well because we are not going to have a single component like this okay so yeah we are also going to use view so let's just say view 
let's use a view component and then we can add another view which will have a style is equal to styles dot add runs row so this will be actually the row okay and so we are going to have the same component that we had in dot button so let's just copy this touchable opacity oh what was that okay copy and let's paste it right over here except we are not going to have an icon but we are going to have some text so the text will be one okay we got number we got button and let's hit save and let's also use add button somewhere so let's just use it inside of the controls so we can use add buttons and auto import it for us and that will give us a button with the text one and it is also clickable okay so that's nice we got these styles already and so so this one this view will be each and every row so it will be one two three and then four five six so let's just copy this two more times and this one will be two and this one will be three so that will give me three more and uh, let's copy this view again so alt shift down and this one will be four and we'll have five and six so that will uh, generate four five and six and we can scroll because we used scroll view earlier okay then now we're gonna add some styles so now we are going to add styles for add runs row so let's just do that add runs row and we're going to put it upside because you know what we are having it before the button right now in the add runs row we are just going to say flex direction will be row so that means it will be a row like this and now to make it uh, look a lot better we are going to go into the controls and we are going to do the same thing so we're going to create a style sheet so let's just import the st uh, style sheet instead of text so style sheet and let's create a style so const uh, it's going to be a simple and single style so we're going to have uh, the controls as our style name and this will have a align items as center and so we need to apply it as well so style will be equal to styles dot controls controls so all of the stuff will be centered correctly and that's it for the dot button and the add buttons and we're gonna add the functionality later on so we need to import uh, we need to remove some unnecessary imports so that's it that's it for this video guys i hope you like it i hope your progress is doing well and uh, uh, share this video to others like this video finally thanks for watching